it's not for you. It's for who's around you. Mm. Because you're the bread maker. Bread shouldn't mean nothing to the bread maker. Because mm. all that's all you do is make bread. Oh, let's, let's get it, it popping, man. Let's do it. Let's do Mr. it. Mr. J Hill, J Hill Network, uh, J Hill Podcast, uh, special guest in the building. Hey, I'm a, this is my first time ever doing this. Uh huh. But um, I'm going to get you in a second. Shout out to my nigga Kev in the oh, building. What up, bro? That's Big hey, Kev. Hey, you I feel like, where you from? Blackie Chan is here too. Hold up. Yo. Where you from? Blackie Chan, man. I'm from Miami. Miami no. Gardens. Miami Gardens. Yeah, That's the Miami hood, right? Gardens, Florida. That's the hood, right? Yeah. I feel like you out of everybody know uh -huh. how the hood is. I, I know the hood like the back of my hand. Facts. I feel like with the hood, if a nigga brings somebody around that yeah. has flawed, that's his fault. Mm -hmm. Right? But more than likely, when they bring somebody around, they embrace them. That's family. Because that's that's somebody that's real, genuine. Because that's family. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? That's so, why I want to shout out to somebody. Somebody you're going to put your face on. Nah, Cav, yeah. Cav, I'm not going to lie. We linked up in 2020. Ever since then, it's fam. Yeah, that's fam, I man. ain't never had to second guess him. Always good intention. You want my 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 best intentions and whatever I do. That's, that's, I ain't, that's why right I had to second guess you because he's yeah. fam. But I ain't going to lie. I was... I was a little skeptical because you came here with the Zos and the it got nah, mad nah, nah. We can't, like, I'm we, like, whoa. I'm sorry. We can't we can't we can't kinda deep cause I ain't gonna lie, you know, we from Miami. We we family. We 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 move as a unit. We don't want nothing to feel, you know, unorganized. Mm. We come through like yo, we stomp us. Like, you know, at the end of the day, like, you know, they all my niggas, we all one, all see us as one. But they're here to make sure I'm good on whatever the fuck I got going on. You feel me? I love it though, cause yeah. you're doing it right. Like you literally like you moving how you supposed to move though. Mm -hmm. That's not get it fucked up. Nah, nah, like, you should. I, I be in the streets, I be in the trenches, but I'm never just not. You, you know not, what I mean? Just lollygagging. Like, like you feel me? I got the right niggas around me. That that's what I need. I fuck with that because a lot of niggas. What happened is I talk to a lot of people on my platform about um, downplaying their celebrity. Yeah. And like sometimes I get caught in it too. To be honest, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Sometimes you think, yo, that's I'm just. You know, I'm Blackie Chan. Like I'm you from got, you got, you, you, I, like I say, you got hair from the horse's mouth mm. instead of just what you assume or what you perceive. Mm. Cause you know, I, I I met a lot of people. I thought you know, even celebrities before I even started getting to music, like that I thought was, damn, oh shit, this is such and such. You run up to them, I don't want no picture. Like they don't give a fuck. Like they don't care. You know, they don't care about how much you care about how much they influence you. And that's how I, I go around. I, I don't make nobody feel no less. I don't care if you dirty. I don't care if you clean. You fuck with me. You know me because of what I do as far as, like, what I put out there. I'm going to embrace you because it's like, you know what I'm saying? You could be thinking about anything else, else yeah. or anybody else. Like, but damn, you fucking with what I got going on. So I'm going to embrace you. But you, not, you always going to have a good story to be like, Good. Damn, exactly. I ain't gonna lie, Blackie China room. I don't care if we busy. I don't care if we club. I'm, I'm shaking hands. I'm kissing babies. I just want to embrace whatever influence I'm putting out into the world and the energy I'm receiving. You that's hard. I mean? yeah. But like, not like I think that's great. But I'm just more so talking about just moving mm -hmm. smart with your with your men. Mm -hmm. How you supposed to move? You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of niggas oh, get caught. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. Smart. You know, you know, it's it's a lot. It's a lot that's been going on as far as like artists and you know. Their belongings, their jewelry, and just like this, just being a, being a a meal, you gotta look at it like. I don't care what part of the United States you're in. You can be in Seattle. You can be in Miami. You can be in Texas. You can be in Wyoming. Have that mindset of protecting yourself mm, mm, mm. because you're an asset now. You're an asset. You don't just you don't just take care of yourself. You got people that look up to you. That's that 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 really look for their livelihood off of what you have built or got going on. Mm. So at the end of the day, you can't just think about oh if I'm good, I don't care about nobody else. You still have to think about yo. I gotta make sure I'm good. I'm helping. I'm helping such a self put food on the table. I'm helping such a self put clothes on his back. I'm helping such a such like you know like it's bigger than you, you. got it. Yeah, it's not just me. It's an effort. If y'all see something going on, if y'all see it, it's a project. And also, it's not blacky. It's a project. But also, like, but you know I mean? even a part of that process, you look good, right? Mm -hmm. And I think Jay Z said in the song "God Day," he said, "I ain't never been offend. I ain't never. I ain't mean for my lifestyle to offend niggas. But a lot of times, niggas can't. It's a shame how much you will bring out a nigga insecurity by you being you. You looking good, right? 
A nigga can't just be like, bro, you look good, man. Keep doing what you're doing. A nigga be like, oh, nah, he look good. I need that. The fuck be wrong with niggas? And let me put, like, a, let me, let me put a, a, a aspect on it as far as generations. Jay-Z them, yeah, they didn't grow up with social media. They didn't grow up with the with the advertisement. They didn't grow up with that type of promo. So that type of hate back then was really just on some uh, somebody close to you really don't like mm. you. Social media is 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 a, is a rea- is is a fantasy world where somebody will envy you just cause you look too good. Tell me, not that you said nothing bad to nobody, no, not, not that you did anything to them. They just can't have what you like, got. Like, damn, dog, he too lit, he's too live. Like, fuck, he don't miss a beat. I hate this nigga, and it's never nothing personal. Listen to how crazy that sound though. It's, it's never nothing personal. It's just it's just on the strength nigga. of he like. Is. It's too much for me. Ain't it's that too much for my though? soul to bear, and that's how you know who's for you and who's not. Cause anybody, I, 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 I could be who I am now and see my boy. Yo, boy, he just hit the lotto. I would never have a slight. I, I should have hit it. I, damn, I should have played. Those are low key haters. Damn, I should have played it. They feel like they should have did what you did before you did it. To have grasped the opportunity before somebody they actually knew, you know, acquired it. So I would be happy if somebody I knew hit the lotto, became the first, broke a Guinness World Record, whatever. Like, yo, I know him. This my boy. Mm-hmm. Whatever he does makes me feel even better or look better. It's crazy because I um, you can't really fake that. Nah, you can't. I, I'm, and I say you'll that, feel uh, it. You'll feel it in different ways. It'd be the littlest things. You would let him in with the cup. It be the literally, it's the littlest things that you'll notice. Cause some people know how to play that card good. Some people know how to act like they support you in the moment, or they care about what you got going on, until it's too much for them to where they're fucking like envious or jealous or, mm-hmm. you know, I'm like, you all know, when, like when you go so far, it's it's it, it it's really like in your face. Do not let. Time, day ones, friendship, uh, a car ride from work, or damn, they watched your baby when you had to go to work. Like, no. Somebody that's going to be there for you is going to constantly be there for you. Not for them key moments when, you know, maybe they, maybe they just been free. Because if they had something else they had to do, they probably would be like, uh, fuck Blackie, I don't care about none of that. But guess what, man? You feel me? Let's, let's, let's. Let's 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 show some love for for the ones that is here with you. Nah, today. yeah, you feel me? Can we clap it up for the uh, ones? Hey, for the ones, ones that's here with me, you know. Hey, the love. Uh, hey, let, let me give a shout out to them, man. Let me yeah, shout, shout out, out every single up. person, you know, that really came out, took a paid for a flight, got a room, got a you know a rental if they didn't have a car here. That just you know help contribute to a whole movement that you know at the end of the day I'm the face of it, but this is a movement. Mm. It's not just about me, because. At the end of the day, if a nigga helped me, I could put I could put a situation on the table for them. Like, what, bro? You don't you have the easiest job in the world? Just come, just be a role manager. Just come, just be just be uh, eyes out for me. Cause it's, I'm an asset. Cause at the end of the day, I'm protecting whatever we come from. It's so crazy. It's just that, like you feel me? That you, I'm gonna let you shout your people out. It's crazy that um that they get it and that's special and that's why I definitely want to even pop a bottle to that because it's so hard to find that. To be real, right? It's, it's like it's it, it people. We were just talking about it with uh, La Russell, um, just like you can't. It's you don't build a team; mm-hmm. they come to you. The team builds you, right? And they come to you though, right? Like you, you couldn't just go out and what's your name, dog? Oh, that's the on Wap Long. Say Wap. Yeah, Wap. Can I just call you Wap? Wap Long. All that man. Don't. On, that's Wap. That's right? him. He gonna that's your cousin, f- right? Yeah, yeah, my boy. That's your yeah, cousin, yeah, right? yeah. Dumb you, love. But you can't just go outside and be like, yo, you can't find a Wap. Yeah. Can't. You know what I'm saying? He, he, they not. They don't even. They don't even understand what to start to be. Your, you know what I'm saying? Like, like even Kev. Like I can't. Kev is ain't somebody I can just find on the street like be on my team. That came after years of work we mm-hmm. had met together. You know what mm-hmm. I'm trying to say? And we not even here every day with each other. But that mutual respect, you just that don't just come. I don't lie. One thing. One thing, Kev. Kev taught me. He's like he. He's but like, we ain't about to make this about Kev. Nah, I'm just saying. I just want to say here, intellectual person. Fuck that nigga. We talking about you right now. Fuck that nigga right now. I, all right. Let me just, let me just say something. <laughs> let me just say something that I know that I. Because he ain't fact, about to take over your uh, impression <laughs> that he fact he taught me is relationships is the biggest currency. Oh, for sure. Do not take a check 
over a relationship you could build for free. We're going to pop this bottle for that. Hey. That's one thing. So that's all I want to say for Cal. He taught me that. Like, hey, it's hey, never hey, about hey, that. Is it Yo, carpet? relationship is the biggest currency. You know, Cal. I ain't gonna lie, pull me up real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Oh, yeah. No, I got you can take it home. Oh, no, I mean, pull yeah, me up. Yeah, I'm yeah, on the drink now. Nah, he said, take it home. Yeah, you want to? I didn't ask yeah, for it to go bottle. Get one, get one. Get one, get one. Get one. Oh, one, one. Yeah, that's just for the, that's okay. for behind the scenes. I forgot who I was with. My bad. Yeah, I, pop, I popped that for the family. Yeah, that's yeah. for your people. I'm gonna take My care of your family. That's dumb love, man. I appreciate the hospitality, for real. So, um, Miami, can I get a nap? Hey, hey, niggas gonna hate me, man. My people still out there, no? Oh, I ain't gonna lie, my 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 real nigga. Yeah, pass me my shirt, pass me my shirt. Yeah, man, something. I ain't gonna lie, you got them great jeans. I would have wiped them right on them jeans, oh, man. Nah, Go man. by my Come day. Nah, nah, man, fuck that, man. Oh. You say you need a neck one? No, 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 no. Yeah, man. So, um, Blackie Chan is in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Miami. Mhm. Got a lot of ties. You've been around a lot of. Artists and a lot of people that would would love to be around. A lot of steppers. A lot of steppers for sure. You um walked into this music thing, man. How long you been making music now? Shit, I've been making music. I can say like a good five, but I took a year off. Mm. I can say a good solid, you know, four years. But still, it was off and on because this whole this whole music thing, this journey that I've been on, I really started on my own. I ain't meet you know like a team. I ain't really have a team together until 2020, and I probably been out here since like 2014. So for the cloud chases though, you feel me? Because you know niggas cloud chase. Let's just for the cloud chase. Oh, let's we, do it. Let's call people, them it's, out. It's crazy. Let's call people, them out. People, nah, they won't call them out. Nah. But <laughs> we gonna give them something because people only. It yeah. seems like nowadays niggas only respect you, but I, they only respect you because the people you hang around, right? Sure. It seems like that. Or right? how so, fast? how fast so, it happened for you? So for the not even that for the cloud chase, let's just let them know. Uh, Tafia, mm. niggas know, if y'all don't know Tafia, Meek Mill, Sign the Dream Chasers, Facts, Gunplay, uh-huh, shit, you was even fucking with Rick Ross at one Ross. point? Yeah, Ross, yeah, I, I done slept at the mansion in the we, A, all that we shit, We just gotta man. let niggas like, know, yeah, so, like, so they know who we talk, we ain't just yeah, talking to like, nobody. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't know just out the bloomer, like, I been, you know, on the scenes, I been around the right people, it's just, you know, I learned, I soaked up, this, this, this game ain't taught. It's taught on a day-to-day -day basis, but when you got people that's been in the game, it's good to be around them because you learn faster. Mm. You learn faster. Like, Ross didn't get there in two, three years. He used to be a hype man for, like, you know, trick. Like, you know, certain other artists. Is, like, he built his way to where he's at. So it happens. Like, mm. it's a process to it. It just don't happen overnight. It's years. Like, before an artist blow, that artist may have been rapping five, six years before they were relevant. So understanding that, right, do you think that, that made it that much easier for you to wait your time being around so many superstars and not being impatient? I, I just never wanted to fake it. Mm. I never wanted to just be put out there and just like, oh, oh, he around Ross. Or I didn't, I didn't really want it to be a collab. I really wanted the people to know like, oh, that's black. He a stepper. He a, he do what he want. Mm. He well, he step out. He want, he move how he want. It's not just because, oh, he's under Ross or he under a certain artist. Like, oh, damn, yeah, man, respect them because that's such and such boy. Like, if you if you notice, like, a lot of artists that go, like, mainstream, that bring out artists, they start pop, they pop out with them, but they never finish with them. Because mm. that, it's, and it's not to take away from the artists that, you know, use that opportunity, but sometimes they it, it saturates. As but far as just like, you, you like, a, you, you're the underdog. Not even them you introducing mean? you to the world, though. Because I feel like just, I'm going to give you my opinion, like, being around people of that nature, of that stature, that big, mm -hmm. you could kind of get impatient and want what they have. Mm -hmm. Do you think seeing a nigga like Tafia work, shit, seeing a nigga like Rick Ross work from the bottom, being mm -hmm. niggas uh, hype man and shit, and now seeing them now, do you think seeing that from the beginning helped you be patient in your place when you with them? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. When you when you from Miami, it's different. Mm. A lot of shit don't excite you when you live that lifestyle. Like Talk I'm a hustler. I've I been there. I've done that. I done bought cars. I done you know. I ain't buy as many cars. I done I done seen all that. Like I done I done done all that. I done spun the money club. I done pop bottles. I done done shit every other rapper done but rap. Okay. Until that point. So when it got to the rap, you just talking. You gotta have a vocab. You gotta have, you know, you gotta have your charisma. You gotta have your vibe. You gotta know who you is before you step into that. But other than that, 
no rapper ever made me feel any different just because they could say words or, you know, just talk a different way to make me feel so, you know, influenced or like, oh, my God, like, I'm so lost. Like, bro, I'm from Miami. It's mm. different from Miami. Miami's a spot where everybody's trying to be somebody. You might have a you might have a friend that's literally your boy, but wants to feel like they're they want to feel like out of the group of people they're the big dog. You you'll find them do little shit just to make you feel little like nah I'm the stepper or like mm. you know like you know I don't watch out for shit but I notice it like oh my gosh. you know you got to know how to move because Miami people will people will take an opportunity to capitalize off of who you are to make their self look better. Mm. Try so, that, try that, try that. I want you to try that. What is, just, what try it, just, try it, just try it, just try it. Don't oh, even look, don't even look. Just try it. Just try it. Right, just try it. Just try it. I ain't gonna fuck you. No, I did it a couple times and niggas oh, like, oh, it's all right. It's all good. I did that shit a couple times and niggas it's like, that shit all right. We not flipped it. Uh, well, tell me the name of that. What that is? Tell me what you think of it first. Nah, nah, nah it's oh. called McQueen. It's called McQueen. Because you fuck around saying you don't like it, then it's McQueen, though. That's Wiz joint right there. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was talking Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to forget a nigga name. You told me that's Wiz joint right there. Yo, so. Walking into the music, the order, the, the making the music, mm -hmm. I can al almost assume that like you had to be good at it because you already lived that life. And I'm mm -hmm. a, I'm not trying to compare you to nobody. When I yeah. think of it, I think of like, let's say for example, Lil Baby, right? Mm -hmm. Lil Baby was already getting money. Niggas had to pay him to not to step away from the money he was getting, right? Yo, so when yo, he just came stay in, away, you know, yeah, so when he the, came in the game, he was killing because he already he already was getting money, so he already could rap how niggas rapping. Do you feel like when you making music now, you are able to, you, you're so far advanced because you've been getting money too. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. I mean, it's not even about advance because mm. you can never you can never predict how somebody's going to react to your music. You could feel seasoned. You could feel like, yeah, I've been doing this. I've been doing that. But if nobody's gravitating towards what you really put in music or your passion behind, the money don't even matter because at the end of the day we're here to we're here to make money you know keep a keep a lifestyle keep a cycle going so niggas make money all type of ways mm -hmm. we'll honestly say that niggas make money all type of way we ain't gonna speak on which type of way they make it but you can't really we all make money i don't care if you work at mcdonald's i don't care if you're selling weed i don't care if the fuck if you're an uber driver i don't care if you do lift we all make the money some type of way it's just all on what we put that money behind to make it look a certain type of way. So the money aspect, money doesn't fade me. It's the grind. It's the passion. Mm. It's it's the growth. It's the development. It's the, damn. I remember watching this artist just start off, and damn, bro, it's been three, four years. They're, you feel me? That's what excites me. Money don't excite me. You can have on the latest designer. You can have on the biggest chain in the fucking world. You can have a chain bigger than the earth. I don't give a fuck. It's all about what what's really important to you. Because life is short. Money lasts forever. Life is short. I want to see what type of impression you're going to make on life before you die, before you pass. Because you could have a trillion dollars in the bank. You die, they're going to gonna recycle that. Hey motherfucker, I'm about to call you. I'm about to start. I'm about, you I'm about to call like you. Reggie. That money, that money shit don't don't impress me, bro. It's all about <laughs> what somebody got going on in their life. I don't care if oh, I I just paint pictures in my basement. Oh, damn, you sold you thought you sold two pictures for for forty dollars today. That's 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 a, that excites me. 
That's but that's the grind. I, I said, it's not it's not the amount. It's the I say grind. I call you I say I'm gonna call you Reggie because like bro you. Nigga, you sound like you're 40 right now. Like you sound like you're 50. Like you're giving. Hey, get, what the, but I like, like it I say, though, listen, I listen, listen. Before you say that, I like I say, I move around Ross. I move around older people. I was really like with the music, just the music. Like I got all my young niggas. We grew up from the ground up, from some jitterbug days. But when it when it goes around the music aspect, don't let the persona or the vision fool you. Mm. I don't care what what the biggest rapper posted. It might be cap, it might be real, but it's all for an image. So how are you portraying what you just told me, right? It ain't about the money. Mm -hmm. It's about a bigger purpose. How are you portraying that in the music? You portray it as... How are you portraying it as in the music? As for myself? Yeah. Let me portray it for myself. I'm an artist first and an entertainer. Whatever I do as far as music where I get a DM from somebody that got two followers... Or one fucking follower that's telling me, yo, your shit is dope, bro. I fuck with this, da da da. That's the impression I want to leave on the world. I don't want to just be, oh, I'm the biggest, you know, I'm the ball, I got them riches. Nah, I want to at least leave this earth being like, damn, I influenced this person, or damn, my music touched this person, or, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you're rapping about. Mm. Be good, bad, spinning blocks, killing ops, or kissing babies. It's just on some, whatever you put out, you got back feedback from where somebody really wants to reach out to you. Like, you, you never know where life takes you. It's no blueprint to life. You can't call it out. You can't strategize it. Nothing. You could wake up tomorrow. You could not even wake up. You could not wake up tomorrow and just be gone. So, you feel me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, hold let on. me not go too deep. Nah, I'm I'm I want you to go deep. Pause. <laughs> hey, yo, that was bad. But listen, nah, I'm going to call you a cat, bro. Oh. Talk all this deep shit. I ain't gonna lie. You probably, nah, 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 nah. Because you, you, know, you probably don't even know I know this. You probably don't even know I know this. Let me hear this. Let me hear this. You give me all this philo philosophical. Philosophy. Say who? Say it. Philosophy. Philosophical. <laughs> philosophy. Philosophical. You give me, you've given me all this philosophical shit, right? Mm -hmm. But you just did an interview, mm. and somebody was like, um, oh. would, you lead, would you lead a bag? Or your girl. And you said you I hate your this girl. nigga. Nah, I, hate I don't nigga. believe it now. All right, nah, all right. I don't let me you let me let me, let me explain that <laughs> that question and that answer. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I really feel Stop. like you know, I, I'm equal on everything. I'm not equal on gender, on on, on nationality, on nothing. I'm you gotta honestly be with this in all facts. Uh huh. If a female meets you you got money mm -hmm. you vibe you take them all type of places you 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 show them to this lifestyle they never been acquired to uh -huh. and you lose it all you go broke the, the trap go dry uh -huh. you buzz uh -huh. do you don't feel like that would change or even vice versa like if if i got a sugar mama she cut and check on me i'm gonna do it i'm gonna kiss toes i'm gonna eat ass i'm gonna do mm -hmm. all that shit. let's go well, once you go broke and I feel like, damn, my lifestyle ain't shit. I'm not happy personally, but internally, but I can't mix, make it seem like I'm a happy because of your situation because it makes me look flawed. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like my mindset will be after the situation? Ima ima imagine going to work nine to five every day, mm -hmm. minimum wage, working your ass, busting your ass, paying bills, da 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 you still taking care of shit. Your girl's still with you, but you get into it with the manager and you lose that job and you're on your ass for four or five months. Mm -hmm. Y'all behind on rent. Y'all behind. On, that shit costs turmoil. Yeah, for sure. So at the end of the day, if you got money, you could keep a happy relationship. For but sure. if you got a happy relationship, you might not be able to keep it because somebody else might come along in. You feel me? Nah. That's how I feel, but no, 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 but nah, I'm not, but I'm nah, not, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before you feel like I'm saying like females aren't faithful or wait, are nah, not gonna not hold it I'm down, saying, no, I'm talking about amongst men. I ain't talking, no, we uh, ain't talking about men. I thought that you was gonna this take another out. With her at the, what I was gonna say, uh -huh. I'm about accountability, right? Uh -huh. So like we can, niggas always want to point the finger somewhere else. We could do that when it's woman in the room, we having a conversation with woman. I'm talking to a man right now. Uh -huh. I feel like personally, I don't know you from Adam. We just met. We cool. So I'm like, cool. I fuck with you. I feel like that comes from. A insecurity from us because like you said how will we feel we lose everything i can't assume how I, like i'm really digging myself in the hole assuming that she's going to leave 
You know what I'm saying? Not saying it's some hoes out here that will leave. Like I'm with you. I'm a nigga too. I'm just saying. But, but I'm no, saying no, no, as a man, no, 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 no. Listen, that's some insecurity. My that we situation, fix. personally, right now, my girl ain't going no fucking work. So you talk? Oh, knows whoa! That. She oh, knows that. No, you answered that question. You got a girl? Yeah, yeah. She ain't. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, I, I, I want to speak on. I want to speak. Mm-hmm. On, I want to speak on from prior experiences. That was that. Not from where I'm at. But no, no, no. It's the same. It was cool. It's the same person. It's cool. No, 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 but let me finish because I'm going to make it make sense because at the end of the day, if we're all grown and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in the terms of what my woman said to me today, Okay. today at, at the liquor store, she said, <laughs> at the liquor she store. said, she said, no, 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 honestly, and, okay. and you can't, you can't hate on it. You can't, you can't make it an issue because mm-hmm. a relationship isn't. 25 75 nigga it's not a hundred zero percent it's 50 50 for sure we're fucking grown 100%. we don't want to deal with nobody that's not bringing nothing to the fucking table for we don't sure. want to deal with nobody that's not going to help float the ship if you're going to fucking sink it get the fuck out of here if i'm that nigga that's broke on my ass not making something happen yeah leave me i wouldn't even be mad at you i really have to really sit there and look at it and and, and eat that like you know swallow that that pride it's a pride thing with men mm-hmm if we fucked up, we fucked up. Yeah, for sure. That's it. Say it. Say you fucked up, own it. But don't sit there and mope on your ass like it's the end of the world. But I ain't telling my, my chick to leave me because I'm broke. Nah. If she leaves you, don't be mad if you've been if you've been on your ass for too long. It's a time period to that. Okay. We all get up. We, we all have ups and downs. Life, life is a motherfucker. Nobody has the blueprint to it. We go up, we go down. You you might you might be able to you might be able to to afford to do all this today, COVID hit, everything shut down. Damn, I'm trying to stretch money. I'm trying. To, I had a whole baby during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you, like you never know how life is gonna hit you. I had, I knew my girl was pregnant in, in 2019, February. Oh, it's a COVID virus. Wear a mask. Keep your so wait, ba- no, no, no. keep get your back, newborn no, no, bar- babies away from people. Store. It's she just said, like you never say? know. What like. Did she say at the liquor store? The liquor store, she said, we're all grown. Uh huh. Nobody wants to deal with somebody that's not pursuing something. Okay. That's not elevating. For sure. For you sure. don't want to see nobody. Like I say, it's a time lapse. I'm with you. Because even if my girl fuck up and, and get on her ass, like, bro, I'm not going to be taking care of somebody for the rest of my life. Okay. If I, I don't. That. And, and, and that's why I wanted to put it. And vice versa. I know if she's the breadwinner. She not going to want to sit on some nigga that's playing Xbox all day, smoking weed, telling you buy a fucking 3.5 every day. No, I, and that, I, I, and that's the type of, And that's the type of niggas that... I'm and I'm trying to tell you where I'm from. I'm not mad at that. I'm, not, I'm telling you where I'm from. I'm used to seeing niggas do shit like that. I'm used to seeing niggas sit on their ass. I'm not seeing... I'm, not, I, I'm used to seeing niggas just, oh, damn, ain't no more... No, no, no dope games. Ain't no more scams. I'm going to just chill and scratch my head. Nigga, go get a job. You shouldn't even be complaining about that. So, because that's not you, though, because from what I hear, hey, listen first... to me, listen to me. Good. I've been rapping. I've been rapping for six years. My last job was 2018, mm-hmm. the end of 2018. I used to, I used to literally work at a voting center. If I'm lying, I'm flying. No, I'm not flying right now. Like nobody's <laughs> gonna very t- much nobody's grounded. gonna nobody's gonna tell me about the struggle or the hard times or the shit they can't overcome or the little hiccups or heels in life, bro. Mm-hmm. Money, money, money is is materialistic, bro. You can get that. And but like that's I, what I'm and like saying. Like I said earlier, another thing that I said, Cav told me, relationships is the big in currency, bro. That's nobody what I'm gives saying. a fuck about the job. Nobody cares about how much you get paid an hour. You treat the right people right, bro. You might meet a nigga that's a corporate office person later that might just give you a job that that pays you salary. That's you never why fucking I know. said I don't understand the answer of choosing the money over your shorty. But listen, like I say, I've been listening. No, no, no. I <laughs> I've been listening. That's me, I've been. That's what me, I've been doing. Let me make it. Let me make it make sense. Make it make sense. All right. So you have your girl. You broke. What chances do you think of keeping her you have? Every chance, because I'm not the niggas that we used to. No. I'm not them niggas. Hey, listen to so me. So I ain't going to stay there. I'm a, I'm a, I don't know how much older you are than me. Or what, how you how, know how older you, I'm nigga? Just saying, I'm just saying, hi, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Because you just said I'm talking like I'm 50, so I'm going I'm to shoot no, that back at you. I'm going to shoot that back at you. I don't know how old you is. That, like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how old you is. But one thing I'm going to say is... Mm-hmm. And one thing I'm going to say that is good, that was a good kid, We in a new generation 
Uh-huh. I don't know what what your girl is on or what the next girl is on or who you tend to put your feelings and emotions into. Mm-hmm. Some things aren't acceptable from certain type of females. And we're all going to accept that, bro. Take For the sure. good, kick the take the good with the bad. She look good, she fine, she got a fat ass, the pussy tight is wet. But if she want this and that's what you want, make that happen. For sure. Don't I'm, complain. No, don't I'm complain. No, no, no. I'm not I'm, saying I'm you that. are, I'm but I'm, I want to make sense of. I'm with you on that. Don't make it sense of like even vice versa, girl. You you want a nigga that cut check, got diamonds on, bijou, driving a fucking Lamborghini. When his birthday come around, you better be able to spend ten bands, five. You know he done done all, at least ten, energy. five. Yeah. You know like something equivalent to. Where your standards are, exactly. show that, show that. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like, don't be just out here taking care of people that that won't give a fuck about you when it's all said and done. But that's why, right? So, being a smart man that you are, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like this conversation is really just like, it's showing so another side of. But you let that me I fuck let me with. tell y'all how I'm talking. I'm talking. Let me one more thing. Go ahead. You gonna have a hundred more things. It's your interview. I had, I had the same. I had the same girl for the last six, seven years. He just calling. Uh, he just he making my story more, right? Am hey, but well, wait, we he had proving my point. Hey, well, but wait, 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 wait. But Go what ahead. I'm saying, what I'm seeing is, never pick up some shit that just because you got money. If somebody, if somebody comes with you, you you meet somebody at your up. Mm-hmm. This is this is the most valuable valuable thing I ever learned. You meet somebody while everything's up. Me something when shit's just at the dirt. You can't even take her on a date to Chili's for a fucking 2020 with a fucking strawberry lemonade. Nigga. Chili's is bad. You don't even. You, <laughs> you tell you, you, you telling the waitress water, water. We get water. it. We get it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just twenty dollars. I probably got twenty two dollars. Okay. Versus some where you go and the little things matter so much to them. Mm-hmm. To where when you get to where you need to be or where things do get better, don't switch out. On that, don't switch out. You'll never find that nowhere. That's something money can't buy. Cause clap money. it up, man. That's that's what we was getting. That's yeah. That's what I was and getting. I, and, I, and, I, and that's it. That's what I was and that's getting. Why, that's why. That's why I want. It was stages no to cap, it. No cap. It was. It was. But he it, ain't say that in the. No, interview, no, no. Though. But it's stages to it. I, I was speaking for niggas that's not in my situation. No, then I spoke for niggas for in my situation. That's how I wanted to put it. Talking for the next man. Fuck them niggas. What about I, I, you? I, I feel you it. No, 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 no. Because at the end of the day, I got niggas that I know what they go through. It's a lot of shiesty shit where I'm from, from Miami. City girls. For you're right, sure. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We not talking about that. City girls. Period. I get it. No, Yo, I fuck nigga. It. Where's the I money? They know they it. don't care about none of that. They don't care about what you went through to get the money. They don't care if you risk penitentiary chances. They don't care if you almost went to jail for five, ten years they to give the them bag. some fucking money to get a fucking bag to go post it on Instagram. But like I said, I'm and a, that's what I'm, I'm saying. saying like what I'm saying is it's, I, that's who I was speaking for for those. This but this shit, this my situation, my shit solidified. Like what I'm saying I ain't, is, I ain't even because the argument is going to go. No, that I, what, I got rid of that problem a long time ago. What I'm saying is though. Just like I can't, I'm not speaking to them. So I'm, I'm, I'm sitting amongst a man, right? Mm-hmm. A grown ass man. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, when we tell niggas that we, t- I can't, if a city girl was here, then I can talk to a city girl, right? I, I, they not here. I'm talking to a real nigga, right? So what I'm saying is, when we say things like that, it's so many niggas that can't differentiate the the truth from the entertainment from the from the false reality of things, right? So yeah. when you say y'all yeah. choose a bag, and I'm not saying your answer was wrong, mm-hmm. but when you say I'm speaking for other niggas. I don't think that's doing the right thing because them niggas don't know how to. You saw, you said how you was just sat here and, and separated that whole situation from me, and I understand it. A young nigga don't understand that. They just wanna. They be like, Blackie Chan lit. He said this, so I'm gonna do that. You get what I'm saying? And you got a nigga that's it's gonna not. Be it's not. Kick. It's not birthed into them. It's not. It's not. It's not right, them genuinely. It's not them from the our heart. And our influence because it's gonna be a nigga with a chick that, that that's been with his girl for ten years. Uh-huh. And he can be like, man, fuck these hoes. That's what Blackie Chan said. The whole time you got a girl for six years. You ain't about to leave your girl for no bag. Hey. What I, all right. Let me let me let me all right, fuck, every, everything I all said, right, everything then. I said before. <laughs> all right, let me make it sense like this. Everything I for I, I said beforehand was the distractions. <laughs> don't let don't let cause you got a, a girl for four or five years that just been holding you down and then you just see some live shit that just got a BBL two months ago and it's snatched up and she on your body in the club and it's like, damn, like, don't fumble that bag don't for some that shit bag. that 
you don't see how you see it. Bro, that shit, it's, it's, you got to speak it into existence. It's some shit you can't see. You got to feel it. You got to know it, bro. We talking some real shit now. Yeah, and, and, that's, and that's really what I want to say. So anybody, anybody listening, everybody, anybody paying attention right now, like, if you got a girl that used to go to McDonald's with you and never complain or... Or, or, or not even she. Every girl complains. If she complained about, Very lightly be careful. Yeah. If she complained, <laughs> if she complained, cause they ain't get. Hey, listen. If she ain't complain, cause she ain't she ain't get enough ketchup. That's cool. If they ain't give her her sweet and sour, that's cool. Tread lightly. Tread yeah, lightly. that's cool. Because it's 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 the it's the grad it's the you know like the levels to it. like yo know, man. She just tripping about sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's. I I I'll really be mad about a girl that make a ruckus in a in a five star restaurant about butter. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like you 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 too out your body. You you too much. Like just chill. Like we we vibing, but dog. And, and for you, and you know, like you know, like not not to make it a race thing. Like you know, if you black, if you you know, my baby, well, I'm a black chief Jamaican, but it's just like then with a black girl, it's just like you don't want to see that come from somebody that. We the same. I'm black. You black. What you so, you know, itchy for? This vibe. Like, this shit is, this is nothing. You could have bigger problems. You know what I'm saying? You could be a single mother. You could be whatever. Like, anything could happen. Life is it's no script to life. I might cut that out for you. It's no script. They're going to hate that. You just called a black woman angry. They're going to hate that shit. I might have to cut that out for you. You know they hate that shit. You know they hate that shit. Y'all, you ain't like that, King? Y'all like that? <laughs> They probably yeah, ain't catching. Yeah, yeah, I like they that. Probably, Was I they speaking hate facts? I'm, I I want to just. Uh, it's not even about cutting it. No, nah, it's all love. Anybody bro. else feel no type of way? Shit. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. But I just said. I, I said, own this I said shit. Some, we can do I said some dagger in, in the heart shit because every, everybody on this earth is built off pride. So what you? Haitian? I don't care. Yeah, I'm Haitian. You say your your, your big mother is Jamaican? Yeah. I got a Haitian Jamaican baby. Yeah. No, I mean I can relate. My girl is Jamaican. Her baby father is Haitian. So they tell me like call crazy her, stories. Call that hate dread. But um, yeah. so they call that Zoes for where you from, right? Zoes and dreads. Okay. Yo, did you um? Dad, we gonna get back to the music. I promise, bro. Shit, nah, let's go. Let's go. I want I want y'all to know who I am. You know, I want um, you to think my like you know my 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 process. You so know? for the people that don't understand that that Haitian community, right? We saw niggas. I just spoke about the niggas, so y'all know who 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 uh Taffy is. Don't act like it. We saw niggas run down. On six nine for the uh what was the YouTube nigga name? Y'all know the nigga name? Will 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 Steve some, Will do it? Steve Will. We just saw the nigga run down. If y'all uh-huh. don't know who Tavi is, nigga ran down. Uh-huh. Told him that Perkyo shit was was weird. Like uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? He got that shit situated. I don't think the young generation understood. Well, I might be wrong for this, hey. but I feel like at in that moment we saw how strong that Haitian community was. I was there. For real? We put down on him together. No bullshit. I got, I got, I got the receipts. We was there. We put down. We pulled up. T- we pulled up the Steve Will Do It House penthouse, like some penthouse type shit, and like brick wall. Like how did that call downtown. go? Like, he can't. I mean, he wanted to cop deuces. No, I'm saying how did that call? Like when? Oh, top put down on it. Top said, "Yo, like, you know, at the end of the day, whatever the weird shit you had going on, but you in Miami and you disrespected the Haitian community, setting that up or making that look some type of way, and we steppers, bro." We fucking step We won't play that shit. We won't take disrespect. We 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 respect everybody, but don't fucking step on our name. Don't make us look any type of way. And for Perkyo to been that Haitian that looked like dirt, for it to have caught that wave and you know six nine doing that green shit, that shit was buzzer, bro. Mm-hmm. Like you know, like honestly, like that shit that shit was a buzz. It's like you made you made all of Miami that's probably eighty seventy five percent Haitian make a look a certain type of way like on the internet like you know like we gook so you know i ain't gonna lie respect top you know me i me personally when that happened i like man that's just dumb like you know i don't give a fuck but for top to step on my now like i ain't gonna lie top yeah i ain't give a fuck but let, let's go pull up on dog we put up on dog and all we was in his we was in his house nigga room we made that boy cut a check six bands you know like da 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 in a in a in a chain type shit like Yo, like, you gonna pay? You gonna you gonna you gonna compensate for whatever weird shit you did? And we putting that on wax, like you feel me? Putting that on the internet, like you tripping? That's hard. Just showing that shows how, like I said, that showed how strong the Haitian community was. 
bringing that back to you, mm-hmm. right? In your career, <clears throat> and we talked about how you have your family here and everybody is, is family. Mm-hmm. How can you even pay your family back when you make it to that level? Like, how? how? What's payback for you? Honestly, there's never a payback. Mm. When you have a mom, a father that's been there and clothed you since you was a couple minutes old to where you're fucking 18 years old, by the time we're old enough to take care of our parents, we don't have 18 years. Mm. We don't have that time. You can never repay back that mm. time. Mm-mm. So while they're here, do the best. Like, you know, fuck it. Hey, mom, I'm going to put cameras on the house. I'm going to remodel the kitchen. Make them as happy as possible. And show them that whatever they gave birth to is something that, you know, they could take to heaven with them. Like, yo, I can never feel like I gave birth to a shit-ass son or shit-ass, a slut-ass daughter. It's just like, yo, they're coming in. They're do- whatever they're doing out there. And like I say, for my parents, it's different. They come from Haiti. They don't believe in fucking rappers. They don't believe in... They'll be a doctor, they, they, lawyer. Go ahead, keep you going. You know what I'm saying? It keep gotta going. be like all of them. Yeah, those. like... It gotta, if, if it don't come with a degree, it's fake. For the woman, probably a nurse or yeah, something like that. Yeah, if it don't come... like, And I'm really honest, be honest. If, it, if with island parents, I'm just not even yeah. Haitian. Yeah, island right. parents, yep. if it doesn't come with a degree, it's not serious. Mm. And the other day, you know, not even the other day... It was last month, Cap, it was last month. Last month, we did New York. I sent my mom, like, my whole little, like, recap of New York. We had a billboard out there. And her response, like, do you know, all Islanders use WhatsApp. So when I seen the little WhatsApp text, like, she was like, oh, my God, I'm so proud of you. Da, da, da. Like, damn. my mom barely know how to text. Just for her to put that in a text, it's like, damn, damn. like, I really shock my mom versus anybody else that's around me seeing it. So when it was like in home, in home, it was like, damn, I made my mom proud. I want to do it again. So coming from Haiti, right, mm-hmm. and being of a Haitian descent. Now, I ain't going to lie, born here. I ain't no No, Haitian. no, no, that's what I'm saying. Being, from Haiti. But you're, you, you are, you're of a Haitian descent. <laughs> yeah, 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 so definitely. Being, being, my, my, both my parents, my, they, they met in high school, and they migrated here. They brought nearly the whole family over here. They got so visas for everybody. So being from that, though, understanding yeah. that, mm-hmm. when you have the success that you have, how much more does it mean being of a, ha- a Haitian descent? I've been Haitian my whole life. I don't want to say my nationality makes it any different. Mm. It's the opportunity I gave like my parents to be a part of. It's not about me. It's like, damn. Imagine if you got a you got a child. Yeah, I got a stepdaughter. You got a stepdaughter. Imagine the stepdaughter. You you sh- you 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 raise her. You you take her to school every day. Da, 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 da. You you buy her uniform. You make sure she got the Jordans or whatever for school. And then twenty years from now, not even twenty, just say when they hit twenty five, twenty six, they the biggest pop star in the United States. How would that make you feel? I think it definitely will make me feel good. But I can't. So for me, I'm in it. So I get what you're saying. Yeah, like but I can't. You know, if ignore- I if I could get my parents that. That's probably my ultimate goal. Mm. Like it's like before my daughter. Without my parents, I wouldn't be here. Without my without me, I, my daughter wouldn't be here. So it starts from you wanna you wanna start from who you started with. I'm not saying who, you don't care about your you know your your seed any less. No, for sure. But it's just like damn, my parents brought me in here. So whatever I do and I whatever I can do for not only my seed but you know. I want to make my parents proud. And you don't think, you but you I mean? don't think it's some part of that, the proudness, the profoundness is that they are from Haiti? I, I would think that that no. would mean so and much more. Like, 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 Haiti is, is not like, it's not even like Jamaica. I know. That shit different. But, but that's why I said, I that would think, different. I would assume like, that don't, it means don't, don't much even, more. Don't even think success. like, it's, it's, it's the same, like, Haiti, Haiti is, is is like literally close to like a third world country, like literally. We not had the earthquake. We not had all type of people killing presidents. Like, bro, how you how you gonna tell me somebody got was able to kill the nigga that's running the state or running running the island? But that's what I'm like, saying. That's, that's why like I would it's, think it's, it would mean more. It, it would mean it, much it, it, more because you came from that. Your it parents does, came it from does, there. But I. In my in my in in my position, honestly, I can only bring more aware awareness to that. But I I I don't really feel like 
much as I can say could do that because we don't have Wyclefs already. Wyclef ran for president in Haiti. Mm. How how nothing, you know, even if you didn't become the president, how you not, you know, making sure shit like that not going on, making sure they're good. That shit should be something constant. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I do get to a Wyclef position, mm -hmm. Yeah, boy, like, I, re I really have family back in Haiti. My mom buy calling cards every other week. An hour, an hour, 30 minutes just to talk to her fucking sister. That's awesome shit where, like, yo, man, yo, people been getting sick. It's not COVID, but we don't know what it is. Damn, and that's crazy because... It's yeah, like, you know, like, it's not COVID. Co Haiti had the, the... If I'm lying, I'm flying. Haiti had the... Number one lowest COVID transmit in the world. Take your phone out, Google it. Not believe. Haiti had the the number one lowest COVID transmission ever. And we're an island. We don't we don't got a lot of accessibility shit. We don't have none of that. But it just shows you like how y'all don't worry about a country like that. That but I really feel like the the rates made people feel like right, whatever. So the people that did have it and get the type of like but we have the lowest rate lowest rate the lowest the lowest lowest rate so question does that spill knowing all of this right because mm -hmm. it sounds like you, you know a lot and no 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 tap in knowing all of this does that spill over into the music mm. or you keep the music like entertainment one thing about it two things for sure like we in two different countries it's not like i say when i get to that level yeah Okay. But I can't, I can't, you know. Okay. I don't want to lose what I got, what I could potentially have going on. But I really know the inside <laughs> depths of a lot of shit that people don't really put light on. So you don't put it in your music because you don't think people will be able to understand it. No, I put it in my music. Okay, so it does have a my... effect on your music. Yeah, like like that. Yeah, I drop into my music. Matter of fact, my first song, I literally um D today it was a freestyle me and Tafia matter of fact yeah that's that's literally my first song I ever recorded Tafia called me to the studio on that song I I I I I literally I literally said in that song I said shout out to my zoes that got caught in the earthquake because I really had family died during that earthquake mm. like family I met that came to the United States visit went back and never see them again like. Just curious. I know I, I don't mean to get too deep, but that's just nah, let's, let's keep going. Like and, this, and, this, this, and situations, black, this blackie right here, man. In situations like that, being in here and understanding the resources that this country has, mm -hmm. the United States, yeah. understanding the resources that mm -hmm. Haiti lack and we could help. Do you ever do you ever second guess the place that you're living in now? The place that you was born and raised in? Yes. But I ain't gonna lie, if they can get here it'll be better for them. But like I said, if I get to that position, yeah, you don't see the type of shit happening in Haiti going on in Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. And Dominican Republic, funny fact is they're connected to the same island. But you don't hear the same problems going on over there. Mm. And I'm not, I don't I don't even want to make the Haitian community feel like they're not helping. We come from poverty, so we're already coming here trying to help. Haiti was Haiti was one of the like I say, Haiti was one of the places that fought for their independence. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we fought for our independence. Like, you feel me? Like, 1804 is when we really got our independence. Spanish people, Cubans, they've been had that before that. So, let me you ask you me? that then. Let me ask you this then. Yeah. You say you're from the hood. Mm -hmm. Well, Miami Gardens, you, yeah. you technically you're from the hood, right? Mm -hmm. But understanding what you know now or what you know about Haiti and poverty in Haiti, mm -hmm. compared to poverty in the United States, do we really understand poverty here? Honestly, nah, y'all don't. Mm. Cause it, I ain't gonna lie. One thing, one thing I, I want to say that people don't understand poverty here, cause poverty feel like not having a job means you're poor. Or you can't provide for yourself. You, you ever? See, I know you done seen the shit with the people going viral, faking like in my in Florida in Miami, like they're fake. Poor, post the sign and go jump in a Mercedes. Mercedes, yeah. fold the sign up, jump in a Mercedes and go out there. Day when there's people that's in Haiti that really like would do that because that's what they had to do. Versus somebody that got a car note, probably got a house, probably got somewhere to pay a mortgage, but they're just on the side of the highway with a fucking sign up. 
that's people taking advantage of their situation. You so I mean? understanding that, right? I mean, you said you wanted to have this conversation. Let's go. So I, I, I'm just letting you know. We're going to go. go talk some shit. Let's go. So what does all of this shit mean, then? All of this. All you, of, you know, all, all of this, all this on my neck is the grind. All this is around my neck is the grind. I'm not here to boast or act like I'm the richest. And all this is the grind. All this is shit I pay for. All this shit is sleepless nights. All this shit is, all this shit was was like on some damn. Before I holla, had all this, is like, nigga, I didn't. I was sleeping on an air mattress. Mm. I learned from my ma- like. I ain't gonna lie. I would be more of a threat if I was born in Haiti. I'm like, I'd be a problem in the United States if I was born there. Why you say that? Because I grew up here with like, not parents that ain't provide. They provide, they get you shelter, they buy you uniform, but you're not getting Jordans. You're not getting designer shoes like the new generation. You're gonna get Shaqs, you're gonna get Adidas. You might get one Nike for Christmas. Mm. You're not getting too much. You're getting the necessities. So. When I see people that's driving the fucking bins on the side of the highway with a sign holding it up, it's like, dog, I know niggas in Haiti that would have washed your car for that ten five dollars and not stole a dollar out of your cup holder. Mm. Not a quarter, not a penny. <clears throat> and that's what I'm trying to tell you. A lot of a lot of people United States is fucked up. I live Anybody here and I know trying that. everybody trying to come here is trying to make better of themselves. They want to make better of a situation. You tell us somebody that's coming from a fucking third world country, Afghanistan, whatever. Yo, just come here. Don't steal. Don't do nothing bad. You good. That person would probably never commit a crime. Mm. Just because they know you're bettering their situation versus people that's here that's going to scam you out of shit, act like they're poor, take a couple hundred out of you. And go by. I got scammed before. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you about this time I got scammed. It's a lady on 441, BOA, the Spanish lady. She comes up to you. Uh, I'm gonna tell you the game. It's like exclusive. If I'm lying, I'm flying. She comes up to you. She has a receipt. It's an old ass. Bro, if I ever see you fly, a plane, a helicopter, a jet, anything, I'm coming for your ass. I'm here. Like, yo, that nigga. Knock, knock, knock on my door, like, hey, Blackie. Only if it's. It's time. It's a timely manner. You better thing. not ever be no pilot, nigga. It's a, nah, 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 nah. You better but, not but let me, ever. Let me tell you. Ahead, let me ahead, tell you ahead, how ahead. I got got by this lady. I was going to the fucking studio. I was piss poor. Just so happily, I you know, I came up on some money that week. Not no crazy shit. Probably thousand dollars, eleven hundred. Nah, this lady. Came. I parked the car. I'm going to the studio. I've never seen this lady in my life. I parked the car. Turn the car off. I just see a lady like kind of walking. She walking slow. Like I'm waiting for her to pass the passenger side. She stops. So I just get out the car so I know, you know, what's going on. I get out of the car. I lock the door. I can help you. She says, yeah, um, I don't know if you can help me. You know, that's once you say if I can help you, it's just the tone. Just do. That's how you got to know. I'm in a hotel down the street. My family and I ain't going to lie. We in America. Nobody just going to. Open up to you. Mm-hmm. You might have a homeboy that's your day one fucking piss poor broke that's not gonna come out and tell you I'm fucked up. But so when they run that game on you, gotta know. She walks up to the car. She says, "Oh yeah, I have three kids. I need to get Pampers." And the thing about it, she caught me 2020 right after I had my fucking baby. That's the only reason I fucking gave her some fucking money. She says, "Oh yeah, I just had a." I got a baby. She's she's two years old. I got a six year old too. We've been sleeping motel motel. Da, 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 da. She shows me a receipt. I didn't pay attention to the date. <laughs> so she shows me the receipt. The, the receipt is like negative three four hundred dollars, but it's recent though. I think I think I wanna wanna say it was 2019, 2020, early twenty twenty because I seen her like December November. I'm like damn. She said, I'm just trying to get formula, baby stuff, da 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 shit that if you were uh, new to fatherhood or just being yeah, a parent, probably, yeah. that you will fall weak to. Mm-hmm. So she says, yeah, I just had a baby, da 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 I'm like, damn, I just had a baby through COVID. You ain't got it as bad as me. I could, I got a house. I got a gym. My gym not sick. Like, all right, I made a little money. All right, cool. I don't know if I'm lying. Fly, I gave her $200. Mm-hmm. I gave her $200. I gave her two Vs. I gave her 10 20s. Yeah. 
Oh, thank you so much. You're the best. I walked into the studio feeling, feeling all good. good. All good about Golly. my... Hey, wait, wait. <laughs> feeling like feeling Golly, all good about myself. Nigga, I get to the... It, the the studio is on the, a rooftop. I get to the rooftop. I unlock the door behind. I walk in. Yeah, boy. Damn, bro. I know God gonna bless me. I just took care of some Spanish lady downstairs. The boy said, what? Nigga, them niggas turned the instrumental off and all. <laughs> the nigga said, What? <laughs> <laughs> Who you gave money to? She was wearing this, she was wearing that. They said, man, she always downstairs. Oh, and idiot. it's like the the guilt and the shame that I felt in my body, it was tremendous. Like, I made a 1000 I lost 200 We gamble that. We blow that in the club. We'll trick off but with that. Nothing, yeah, and it's like... It's like, damn, kid. You tricked two hundred dollars. I bought. Like, I, fun. Not even. I paid her two hundred dollars for a story. It damn. wasn't true. I gave her. All right. I, just like me walking up to you. I don't know you. Hey, hey, Jay, tell me a story. Make sure I believe it. Yeah, man. My auntie died last week. She had COVID. She was a good actor. Then she they worked fi- for that they found hours. she had anal cancer. They cut two of her toes anal? off. <laughs> you feel, you feel, you feel like shit. My life is nowhere where this person life at, and it's like damn. Colon cancer. Yeah, like <laughs> I got it. I got I just made a thousand dollars this morning. Who was it again? What she had? What type of cancer? I don't know, man. Toe cancer, <laughs> anal cancer, <laughs> lung cancer. Brain cancer. Yo, this is the funniest. Listen, ever, listen, though. listen. The story gets deeper because I'm going to tell you how karma works. Man, we was talking about karma earlier, right? Yeah. I'm going sh- I'm to show you how karma works. So. How it work, bro. She got me. Them boys make me feel dumb in the studio. I mind you, I paid for two hours of studio time already. Not, not even two, three hours. I don't even have it like that. It was just like, damn, keep life going. Mm-hmm. Like I like I said to you earlier, I'm big on the energy you put out is what you receive. I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't be right here if I was a fuck nigga. Cap don't fuck with fuck niggas. I know I'm only here because of him. You feel I me? Mean? I treat him like family. He treat me good. It's, we all men. You know what I'm saying? Like back to the men thing. Like facts. That's a we fact. all here to make it work. We all here to make it happen. We ain't here to step on a nigga toes. If I could bring calf up where it makes him look better than me, let's do it. There's no shame in the game. You feel I me? Mean? So. I gave after she made me feel after them boys made me feel like shit in the studio. No, I ain't never recorded a song. I sat in there for two, three hours just smoking like fuck this whole dog. If I catch <laughs> oh, the two hundred dollars though. No, it don't matter. It's, it's not about it's the like I t- like when I started always say like I started an interview. This interview ain't about money. It's about genuine. It's about if you really need it. Should have called police on Yeah, if I could help you. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch was on the next bus. I I walked downstairs, bro. Gone, gone wait, in the wind, wait, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, didn't you want to like work in law enforcement or something one day? Like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I went to school for criminal justice. I wanted to be like you know homicide forensic. I was I was into bodies. Interesting. That's all I was into. Wait, I was into bodies. You, why why would you? What the fuck? I don't know. I, I, I not, not even not bro. even like a detective forensic. I was into like. Just the aspects of it, you know, projectile, projectile angles, fingerprints, just the forensic f- aspect of it. Not just like locking niggas up on some fuck shit. If a nigga, a nigga might deserve it. You might not know. You feel me? <laughs> I ain't on. I ain't into that. But I was into like you know forensic fingerprints, da da da, like you know detail shit. I ain't, I ain't no bland ass nigga. Like I'm in the details. I'm going going deep. I'm a deep ass nigga. Since we've been, since this whole interview started, yeah. I'm in the like the ass. I'm I'm in between the lines, nigga. I never look at what's. You could be like, yo, that fire hydrant is red. I'm gonna be like, I ain't gonna lie, but they got like two or three, four, five scratches on the right. It's showing some yellow shit on it. You know what so saying? what's the most interesting part of a dead body? Like, what made you interested in dead bodies? I ain't gonna lie. My first, my favorite show is First Forty Eight. We we come from dead bodies. I ain't gonna lie. Well, maybe interested in dead bodies. My first dead body I really ever experienced wasn't even like I seen it. It was a friend of mine, R.P. The dead his name Booby. It was a West Side like youngster. It was a jit like his old boy like an OG and shit like that. But like 
when I when I experienced that death from a homicide, like not natural death, like I was like in the tenth, eleventh grade, my first real hom, like you know, like close friend death, like you know what I mean. We used to talk about the Jordans. I used to argue with him. Ah, I got more Jordans than you. Oh no, nigga, I got more. He had more Jordans than me. I ain't know the aspect of like. You said you only got Jordans on Christmas, right? So nah, I mean, assume yeah, you yeah. Had like I, I had like two, three pairs. No, nah, but around that time, I was hustling. I was oh, a, okay, okay. I, I ain't, I ain't gonna even say like I was a drug dealer or nothing. I was, I was working out of car wash, man. I was an honest nigga. You feel me? I, I ain't really into violent crimes, bro. How do you be an honest like, nigga and like, like, what's the difference? Explain to me, cause you, you a hood nigga. I guess explain to differentiate a real nigga and a hood nigga. What's the difference? I'm curious. Real, yeah, a street nigga in the hood, nigga. Or a, a street, nigga. a real, a real, a real nigga. Let me tell you this: a real nigga, it's 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 pit and paddle. Let me be honest: a real nigga, I ain't never hear honestly, that one. straightforward. What we said what is what? It's pit and paddle. It's like oh, it's, it's on the fences. That. It's okay. like it's like pit pat. Like you know, you okay, don't really know. That. Okay, okay. You won't never know until you really feel the full aspects for it. Before you explain it, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I was, I was. I'm sorry. I probably ain't been cut you off. I, I'm, I remember what I'm about right, to say. Go ahead. Please remember. Mm -hmm. Jit is short for what again? You said it earlier. You said what? Jit, what? Jit is short for what? Jit. Yeah. Youngster. You said it earlier. Like a youngster. Like not you know? like a jit. Something. You said something. The whole word. You said like a jitterbug. <laughs> Is that is it yeah. short for jitterbug? Jitter, jitter, jit, jitterbug, same shit. I really feel like. But is it short for jitterbug? I I would say that it's the same thing. Jitterbug, I never knew jitterbug, that, bro. jitterbug means young, like right. a jit. I know that a jit is a jit, a so, young person. They both mean young. Before, as no, it's far, crazy. as far as like age, yeah. yeah. Nah, I'm saying before. So before, like when I first got introduced to uh, Miami niggas, right? Like yeah. they were saying jit. I was actually did a freestyle with my name, Young Jit. It's like a nigga gold dress. I don't know who like, is. This is my nigga Jit Jizzle. His so, name Jit Jizzle. So listen, swear yeah. to God, swear to God, right? So I didn't. I'm like, what the fuck is a jit? But when he uh, said jitterbug, I heard of yeah. that before. I'm like, oh shit, that's what a jit is. Abbreviated. Abbreviated. Jitterbug. So for the world Slang. that ain't nah, get introduced. But then again, to but jit, then again, Miami the word, the word, jitterbug. the word Slang. jit. Even if somebody had that word before them, somebody might grow into that name. They may have just been around older niggas and they called them yo little. That's that's but it's jit, short for that's jitterbug. jit B, jit J, jit A, jit C, A, K, whatever. Before. You never, may not know, but. Yeah, what? You know, you know, at the at the at that age, like I might, you know, he not a jit. Your niggas got manners he, and shit. Yeah, he an OG. You feel me? Like this, this is one of my, one of my niggas. You feel manners. me? Like you know what I mean? Like this is one of my <laughs> niggas. I fuck with heavy. I don't look at, I don't look at him as a younger counter, but you know, name jit jizzle. Like you know, he like that. That's just it. Like yeah, I ain't, I ain't it, fucking with jit jizzle. He look like he, he like nah, like the big AK forty seven. This is my demon right here. I, man. I believe hey. you. I believe you. Hey. <laughs> This is my demon. He says my demon. I believe you. The nigga ain't say one word. He come through. Let me wrap he, up this hey, interview. This nigga, he come through. All he come through. All he leave is, is dust. Whoa. You gonna see dust. That's all, all right. you gonna see. Okay, well, well, that's your interview, man. Nah, I'm I, want I ain't come here all over. I came here with niggas. You wipe this me? whole motherfucker out. Uh, hey, I, I, hey, I just said dust, man. You might want to wipe the drapes. Uh, hit the fans. <laughs> Ceiling yeah, might be dusty. It's a wrap, everybody. Black your chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this nigga is great. All right, but let me go. All right, so. <laughs> he said dust. What was I, what was I going with the story before? Oh, what's that? Because I'm thinking of I said, like. I said, uh, I said to said get. Wipe the, wipe the fan. What's dust? Because you say you're going to leave with dust. I'm thinking not, of like. Not even. When you die and they cremate you, that's what I'm thinking. That's like just a little lingo we have over there. All right. Hey, yeah, if a nigga... Yeah. All right, wait, wait, wait. wait. Hey, dust? Jay, thinking, Jay. I'm Jay. thinking going to kill everybody. Nah, nah, nah. Jay. <laughs> Jay. I Jay. Even Jay. Even say All right, but, but, Jay. No, no, no. I want to I wanna make him... I want to make him understand it because we from Miami. Please so we, we understand when we say dust. dust. I don't right. want to die. Jay, Jay, listen. And I want to be buried. Nigga. If, if like, we, I want if, a proper burial. If, <laughs> if I came through... If I say came through... Like just say say we in a strip club. Let me keep a prime example. And you don't know me, but you see this nigga, he come through, he make a a, a mess in the club. I'll be like, I'ma say, damn, that boy Jizzle just came through and went dust mold on him. He sprinkled the whole club. He it's dusty. Slang. It's, it's slang. dusty as it's far as slang. it's either you fast or you you just you covering you everything. Ahead. You feel me? It yeah, like Man, dust. Is, dust ain't no, ain't no. It's not a deaf term. Okay, cause when I'm from, like, I'ma dust this bitch out. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah. Whoa, whoa. Ah, wait. Hold up. Let me tell you. Let me. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about Florida. Okay. Florida, we don't say we're gonna blow that shit. We, we gonna blow that shit. 
<laughs> nah, we ain't baking cake. None yeah, of us are bakers. Nah. Yeah, yeah, that we gonna blow sense. we gonna blow that shit. We're gonna get the glizzy or grab the switchy. I know what I heard of glizzy or, before. Or, or the yeah. hammer. Yeah, I get heard the hammer, hammer, the fire. Yeah, the fire. The fire, the fucking the banger, the hammer, the fucking yeah, yo. Like banger, hammer, Bruh, hammer, when the when you hear it when you hear somebody say grab the and they just say oh, a yeah. random yeah. item. I'm not you hear, if you hear a nigga grabbing. say, yo, go grab the circus wheel. No. <laughs> Get the fuck out. It's not a carnival. As once a nigga say go grab It's anything. not a fucking carnival. Get the fuck out the bitty. This nigga about to spin this shit like a carnival, nigga. Like a Ferris wheel. You get what I'm saying? Nah, this, I don't. This shit ain't safe no I, more. Hey, nah, you better get it. it ain't, listen, it, <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, it ain't family talk. When, when you, you hear, when you hear somebody say "go get," and then you hear a word you've never understood before, <laughs> they could say, "Yo, go get the pony." Get the fuck out the building. You don't want pony juice on you. You don't want pony glitter on you. You don't like ponies. Get the fuck out the building. You heard some crazy shit. One thing about I can back. Am I lying? About, one thing I can back what you talking about. Miami make My, lingo. Miami will make a lingo that they make sure you don't they understand. They say Florida is the a craziest cold. place in the world. Miami is built on cold. If it's a lingo, if it's a lingo for a word already, Miami nah. will make another word Ex- for it. Exactly. If y'all call it the banger, for years, for years they've been calling it bangers hammer. Hey. Oh shit, nah, now it's called zoo. When 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 a nigga when <laughs> like, a nigga in Miami, Miami say, "Yo, go up. grab the glizzy," he's not about to go get a hot dog, a Frank's hot dog, and put mustard and ketchup on his shit. Oh, he gonna go get a Frank's hot dog with mustard ketchup. You're about, ketchup you're about your to have mustard on your shirt and and fuck, no, nah, not even ketchup on your shirt and mustard in your fucking drawers because you're gonna piss yourself after Yo. they're done with you, bro. Yo, that's what I'm saying, like. Yo, it's, plug you, us with the music, bro. We you got to understand, this like, this shit ain't... Oh, yeah, yeah, he's about that. yeah, yeah. All right, you know... All right, what was the question? All right, you said you want to fuck it Run it, run it, run it. What? Oh, yeah, All right, yeah, yeah, but yeah. The, the difference between a hood nigga and a rap nigga... What, what's that and word? a street nigga. nigga. Hood nigga and street nigga. He's a real nigga and a hood All right, nigga. A real, a real nigga and a street nigga. A real, a real nigga... A real nigga, I'm gonna honestly put it in all, in all aspects. A real nigga... Is somebody just stinging past the streets, stinging read? It's not even just real. Like, oh yeah, I I did some shit. People gonna respect. In my in my opinion, real is what's real life. Mm. If you got an auntie that need a heart transplant and you pay 30, 40 bands for that nigga, that's real. Mm. You got an auntie that needs that and you go spend 40, 60 on a fucking chain. You a street nigga. AKA you a dumb I feel nigga. I feel like a real nigga progress. A street nigga is stagnant. Mm, regress for sure. It's it's no up or, or down. It, you might have ups or downs, but it's more downs than ups because you 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 you're risking more than what you're getting in. A real nigga is like, damn, I just hit a jug. I got two, three, four hundred thousand. All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this for my mom. I'm gonna do this for my little sister that had her 18th birthday. I'm gonna throw a ten band, ten thousand dollar, 18th birthday party. It's not for you. It's for who's around you. Mm. Because you're the bread maker. Bread shouldn't mean nothing to the bread maker. Mm. Cause all this all you do is make bread. Okay, Mr. Philosophy. You know what I'm saying so. If you come from a household that didn't really make bread, like honestly, like I said, that was some I, real shit. I like I, that. Though. I, I, I come from, like I say, we're Haitian. Haitians, Haitians. Haitians can have money and still be cheap. Let me put that in our We're not fucking broke ass people. Haitians can have money. I might have an uncle that's a millionaire. Oh yo, get these um Adidas or Shacks when he could really buy me like six four pairs of Christian Louboutins and sleep easy at night. Shit, sound like white people to me. Nah, it's just, Haitian, just like white people and we, Jews. We, we all, we, and I'm just saying, we all have not just white people. We all. Every individual in here has a, a family member or somebody that's in a better position than where we're all at. No, for sure. For sure. And and I'm going to be honest with that. <coughs> we all have a, a family member, somebody that's doing better than us, somebody that's life is better, where they could help you. But we're not, we're, in, in all actuality, we're all, all men. We're all mm-hmm. men. So we're not hitting here because, damn, man, my cousin just signed a, my cousin could have been Kodak. I'm not finna, hey, Kodak, you owe me this. I'm your cousin. da, da, da. I gotta go out there. Show. I gotta go out there and get it just like how he got it. You know what I'm saying? So, so I think this is a great, entertaining, 
informational all around the boy. Shit was fun. Yeah, it, it, it was it's, fun. it's it's it's. I really want I really want to differentiate what people see you as or what you got on. Like this shit don't matter, bro. I can have it today and lose it tomorrow, but it's not gonna change who I am today. Niggas always say this shit don't matter. Let me get one. All right, take one. Nah, one that don't got your name on it. Oh, they all got my name on. They all got my they name. All got your they name they are, on the back. Every last chain got your name. Everyone got my name on the back. I'm on the back. Oh, that's cool. They don't have it on the front. Let me have one. <laughs> let me. You said it don't. It don't matter. You literally said, "Oh, this hey, shit don't matter." Hey, let me. Let me have one. I ain't gonna lie. I got some shit in the in the press line right now. I got some label chains. You wanna be part of the game? Right, Let's go, one. man. I got you. Bet. I, I seen uh, I what's the nigga name? Uh, Bobby Fiske. Oh, yeah, Fiske. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, some shit like that. You know. If you a man, they fucking with me down there just like they fucking with him. I'm a, I'm a post this shit. I'm like that nigga a fraud. He ain't no real nigga. Don't tell me that. Hey Jay, you calf boy. Don't cap me to death. Ah, you no no you calf boy. I said don't cap me to death. All right, so I went second guess that. All right, man. Yo, tell niggas how to get your music and where to follow you. Ain't gonna lie, man. We ain't even talk much about my music. I ain't gonna lie. Let me let me teach y'all a little something though. I ain't gonna lie. It's your boy Blackie, you know, from Miami, inspiring artist, you know, I'm an independent artist. I ain't got, you know, I'm keeping shit running. I really, really got back, like, into the rap shit, like, twenty in 2019, beginning 2020 type shit. You can stream me on literally any platform. I got songs with Zoe Dollars, Tafia. I got songs with Babyface Ray. I got my new single called Whoa. I'm on all platforms, like. We all, I'm really like putting what I do behind it. This is not, I'm not no SoundCloud rapper. I don't need the free shit. I don't like, I'm putting money, I'm putting time behind this. Cause oh, we like, see, nigga, you look good. I told yeah, you, like, we you, see, you, you shining. I, I, and and you know, the honest part, I feel like I look bad. I feel like I don't look good enough. So, like I say, like, I don't never feel like I'm there. I like that. Cause, like I say, I could never feel like I'm there because I know where my family came from. Mm. My parents, I can never put a cap on it. All I know is wherever the fucking sky takes us. I don't, I don't worry about what I feel like niggas think I should be at. Oh, you deserve that. Yeah, bro, you own that. Nah, let's see what the fuck else I could do. I'm, I'm, I'm not stagnant. You hear me? Tell niggas where to follow you at, dog. Ah, uh, you follow me at blackie underscore chan let me spell it out b-l-a-c-k-i-e underscore c-h-a-n seven you can find me there on twitter facebook instagram spotify amazon music it don't fucking matter you could shazam my shit if you hear it in the club and you don't know you can find it any fucking where i'm on literally all probably 20 plus platforms right now this is funny, man. This is fun. I like that. Blackie Chan, Mr. J. Hill, J. Hill Podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah.